Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So today I'm going to do five things that you might have around the house that you can add into your mixed media to use if you're in the beginning stages and you don't have a lot of money, uh, but you want to, you know, add a little bit of something, something, uh, and play with it. So I'm going to, there's like five, I have five, six things here at the moment. Um, I could go on, I, I have videos on this, but I could do a m so many things, but, um, this is where we're just going to start today. Easy. So I am going to have a, an ink pad here and I'm going to have my, um, I'm going to clean up my desk. You wouldn't know it, but, uh, tool paper roll. I'm going to have the, uh, spray. This is from stencil spray from folk art in the color hot pink. You know, give it a shine. Okay. And then just a, an ink pad. This is a permanent mixed media ink palette from Tim Holtz. It's their, just his distress palette, um, bubble wrap, which, you know, you can get anywhere. Uh, but if you have packages or something, or you order something from Amazon or whatever, and you get a little bit, just put it aside. Or you can be like me and be a complete hoarder and have a whole closet full of this stuff for no apparent reason other than to go in once in a while and go, oh, does it still pop? Uh-huh. So, you know, we all can have fun. This is from a cookie uh, thing <coughs> where it divides the cookies. I think it went into a round one. But anyway, you can see that it's ridged uh, and why throw it away? I'm so sorry. I am not feeling well. This is from avocados, which this comes in onion, you know, from onions, whatever. Um, this is has a little stretch to it. I just cut off both ends. So that little squishy metal piece was gone, but this can be a lot of fun as well. And I'm going to use it in a sense because I do want to make a, um, odd, uh, one of my odd girls. And I want this to kind of be her like go over black fabric. So it looks like lacy kind of thing. So we'll play with that. This is from washi tape. When you're done using it, I'm going to play with that. This is an old, uh, credit card of Emily's that I'm going to destroy. And then this is just a piece of plastic that came off of a mold or something. And I, I was like, Oh, I could probably scrape with that. So we, we shall see, but we're going to try. I'm just going to show you a few little things. So let's open this bad boy up and as juicy you can see the you know very nice so i'm going to take this first and this can be from tape washi tape uh how you say um scotch tape whatever it could be toilet you know and i do have a toilet roll paper roll here which we all have paper towels and toilet paper so um maybe you have you know some of this sitting around and all you would do is now you can make it cut even or, you know, not just to get different, um, pieces, different stampy kind of things. But you see, um, now I don't know if this side's a little more, I also love doing this in paint and you can see, I bet you that I probably don't have much ink left on here. Looks juicy, but I think you get my idea. So this is great to do um, d several, several different things, but before we do, let's spray. So this is just our washi. I'm going to give this a shake. You can do one like this and move it and look how cool. And you're just getting, you know, a little bit of texture going on, right? So imagine you paint the base color, I don't know, black or purple or yellow, whatever you want. And then you put this over it, something similar, um, which you can also cut from your, um, toilet paper roll, right? Cut it. You get the same kind of vibe. Um, yeah. So, and then you can put this over, spray it, and then that white would be a color. Okay. So you're getting like really cool, uh, depth. You also can dip this in paint, um, you know, dip it and do that. Do I have paint sitting here? Let me see a color just so I can show you guys show you guys now it can be watercolor it could be whatever I'm just using acrylic because that's what I tend to use a lot of but again it could be watercolor it can be gouache it could be um whatever whatever you got I am okay with it so I'm just gonna spread this out a little bit like this And then you can do this one of two ways. You can take your brush 
Maybe you don't want it all the way around. Maybe you want it more grungy. You know, it's up to you. And then put it and stamp it and look at that deliciousness. Or you just go in with it, set it in. That's why I was making the paint spread out. You just dip it in and do your thing. And of course, you can see this is circle. This is oval. So you definitely can change the shape or, you know, whatever you want. And this could be any color. And look how fun that is. Okay, that's that. The other thing, of course, is scraping. So if you have your modeling paste, molding paste, heavy uh, gel mat, maybe you have a Mod Podge that has glitter in it or just that, whatever, whatever it is, take your card and scrape up some. And then you can just kind of go in. I mean, who doesn't like black and pink together, right? But you see... And I love, look at this, with the circle. Now I have, I don't know if I look at it this way, it's a little duck head, how cute. But, I mean, you can see how you really can uh, play around while things are still a little wet um, and get different different things with it, right? Piece of plastic. You can go in and scrape or touch it, and you can see, which you can do with the credit card as well. Um, but So you kind of get a twofer with the credit card. But you see, you're just kind of adding marks and dragging it. And I mean, how much fun, right? And if you use your credit card, same thing. You just kind of dip it. I think I'm almost out of black paint. Dip it in there and, you know, take it around and do that. So a lot of fun. A lot of fun. I mean, and look, we're, look at how fun we're creating. You know, I could go on, like I said, I got a lot of different things. And if you guys want more, uh, you know, let me know and we will do more. Now this, again, this comes, you can get this in onions, you, you can get it in whatever. And really, you can cut it so you have individuals or not. And funny enough, these come in different, like, depending on avocados, lemons, uh, whatever, onions, they have different kind of netting, which is really cool. But if I hold it up like this, and I always like to give it just a second to uh, dry before I move it. And if you lift it up, you can't, it's hard to see on camera, but you do get some really cool different, um, a, a look, you know what I mean? Rather than just spraying it, it kind of like makes it spread a little bit. Now I can go in with my black, um, paintbrush and then watch. I like to go two ways. Who doesn't like two ways? And then look, look what you get there. So you can see that you can definitely play go in with different colors. You can go on and press it, you know, and just really get some, some good play going on there. And, um, one of the last things for smaller circles, this is just the lid to my stencil, um, spray, but of course, you know, whatever you have use and, um, uh, my draw, I'm drawing, but you can go in and get, uh, let me just wet this a little bit. get smaller circles. Okay. Well, that's on the floor because my hands, they've been really bad the past few days and they don't like to pick anything up or be a partner of anything. Okay. So I'm going to pour out a little bit more black paint. It happens. What are you going to do? Nothing you can do about it. These are little foamies. You can get these at the dollar store in packages. Um, sometimes they're called bath foams. Sometimes these are just the sticker on the back. Uh, AC Moore, Michaels, they, if you go in the kids section, you guys know I love the kids section because you can get foam with different textures and all that. But if you, let's say you go to the dollar store or whatever and you just get shapes with foam, you can then go in with a pen, pencil, whatever, and you can make it a design. Um, so then you can stamp. So I can just go in and kind of, you guys know I'm a heart freak, but this is what we'll do. I'm pushing hard and I'm going in and you can see it's what I'm doing. And I'm going to do it on this side just to add some texture, write words. You can do whatever you want. I'm just trying to show you. And then like in here, what do we do? Do we want anything? I don't know, but let's, let's take a look and see what it'll be like um, with some paint and how it's going to come up. Now you can dip this as well. 
And I never erase any of the, or wipe uh, any of the paint off because it will help um, seal that background a little bit more so it doesn't soak in each time. But you can definitely go back in and draw, you know, more. You can see it like right there. And then if I go in, let's say here, give it a push, push it real good. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. New songs, Kelly, new songs. But a look at that. You see what I'm saying? So again, you can see, you can go in. Maybe I want, I don't know, some dots. So I will put an odd number of dots in the middle and let's see what it does now. Let's see, is there any paint left on there? Now it should. Okay. But you get it very. So imagine, here we are, we have a heart. We can make this into a butterfly if we do that. Let me show you. Butterfly wings, dragonfly wings, wings of anything, which I love to do because I love to draw little odd uh, girls and make little wings on them. So that's what we'll do here. You can cut your own as well out of just plain foam sheet, right? Okay, and I like to give it a push and lift up. Eh, I could have put a little bit more on there, but you see, so that's a lot of fun too. So don't, you know, don't forget that you can do that. And then, of course, what is better than bubble wrap? So you can dip it in or how did I even get water on there? Or I'm just going in with my brush. Same thing. I got it sitting here and I'm just going over it. <clears throat> and these bigger ones I love because they have texture. And you can see I'm just kind of, you know, and ask your family, hey, you know, if you ever get some bubble wrap in a package, please send it. Any tissue paper, you know, because sometimes, you know, in the mail. You get stuff and it's like, oh, is that cool? I can use that. Or your husband says, um, I say, oh, where'd that go? And he says, well, you have enough of it. I threw it away. I didn't think you needed it. That happens quite a lot here. Okay, so I'm going to be down here. I'm just going to stick it down. I'm going to give it a push. A little cushion for the pushing. Let me see me. And now I'm going to go boop. And... No, it did, I didn't have a lot of uh, paint on there, but you can see, look at that great texture. And of course you can make it way more opaque and all that fun stuff. So this is fun. <laughs> I'm telling you what's fun. That's fun. And then we have this. So I can go in, I'll just fold it so it's smaller. I can kind of go in like a stamp if that's what I want and push it and look how cool. You can cut out shapes, put this in your die cut machine. Maybe you have like hearts or whatever, where you can cut these out and then you have a really cool um, thing. You can take your brush, your paintbrush, and really paint across. Spray a little water if it's not wet enough. And then we can put it on here. Okay, sorry, I forgot to turn my phone off. And then you see, and what is also a twofer for this is that you see how I did this and has the lines. You can use this as a guide for in your journal if you want to write or you want to put a quote or whatever. And then you can go do that. And then you can, you have like lines, you know what I mean? So yeah, there's so many things to do. And of course, you know, you can use your makeup sponges that you get at the dollar store, your makeup puffs. It doesn't matter. You have cotton balls. Use a cotton ball for texture, uh, dabbing on or gluing it on Q-tips as well. I've used them a million times. So yeah, you're kind of getting, you know, getting uh, what I'm trying to say. Let me know what you guys think down below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you just found me and you would like to be subscribed, I would love if you would click that subscribe button, click the notification bell next to it. So you can get notified when I up to, uh, upload, which is a few times a week. And yeah, as always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. I love you guys so very much. Let me know if you guys want more of these and um, try to do a mixed media background, just using, you know, five things around your house that you found. Think about spatulas and forks and, I mean, stuff, you know, toothbrushes. It's endless, the stuff we can use. I love you guys so very much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.